The Prime Minister says he expects the plebiscite on gay marriage to be held by year's end. And Labor wants to make the last few days of the campaign about trust. But the ABC's Vote Compass says on that measure, Malcolm Turnbull has a healthy lead. Political editor Chris Yorman. There are many trials on the campaign trail. On the street... I want to ask you a question. Yes. After the way John Howard lied to us, why should we believe anything that you have to say? Everything I've said in this election is absolutely straight. And in the studio... How old were you when Labor last delivered a surplus? Oh, I guess I was an adult. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Thank you. As the clock ticks down to election day, Malcolm Turnbull and Bill Shorten were both battling over marginal Sydney seats, one feeling the love at a community centre. The other navigating a selfie parade. Wait a minute. Thank you so much. Both were never far from each other's thoughts. What Labor has is a set of policies that are anti-business, anti-investment, anti-employment. They feel very let down by Mr Turnbull and the Liberals' constant undermining of Medicare. Malcolm Turnbull was warning against a protest vote. All of the disarray of a Labor Greens independent alliance. And Bill Shorten repeatedly questioned his opponent's character. Mr Turnbull can't be trusted with Medicare or schools funding and to make massive cuts. So let's see how both men fare on trust, as measured by the ABC's Vote Compass. 900,000 people have responded and the perceptions of the two leaders' trustworthiness has barely shifted in eight weeks, with the Prime Minister starting and finishing well ahead of his opponent. It was a different story in 2013, when Kevin Rudd lost ground and the election to Tony Abbott. Great to see you. Oh, good, thank you. Today, the Prime Minister set out a timeline for dealing with same-sex marriage. I'm reasonably optimistic that a plebiscite could be held before the end of the year. Which was just a deal, a price that Mr Turnbull paid to get Conservative support in the Liberal Party to become leader of the Liberal Party. <laughs> Malcolm Turnbull says once the people have spoken, that will be the end of the matter. If the plebiscite is passed, there is nothing more certain than that the legislation will pass through the parliament. It will sail through the parliament. With two days of campaigning to go, the opposition leader will step up the pace tomorrow as he returns to the fray in Queensland. And the news from that front line is of a surge back to the coalition. Chris Yulman, ABC News, Canberra.